Comrades and friends, I'm not here to give you a conventional speech because we don't live at conventional times. I'm here among you and along with you. We all are here not to describe the tough situation that our people live, but to try to make a case for change and to remind the peoples of Europe that Europe is at the critical crossroads. And there are two ways to go. The alternatives are clear. Either we stand still or we move forward. Either we consent to the neoliberal status quo and pretend that the crisis can be resolved with the policies that have recycled it, or we march into the future with the only alternative, with the only hope of Europe, with the European left. Because peoples of Europe are in danger, democracy itself is in danger, Neoliberalism and the barbarian austerity measures is a threat to the peoples of Europe and the extreme right is a danger to democracy. And the only alternative is the resistance of the peoples and the strengthening of the European left. Dear comrades, in the years of the crisis, unfortunately, we have been vindicated. It was us, the European left, that even before Eurozone actually came, came into life, we were pointing out the flaws, the deficiencies, and the destabilizing asymmetries to that project. We have been saying and proven right that there can be no monetary union divided by a wall of money. We have been saying and proven right that a monetary union indifferent to society and responsive only to the needs of finance capital is a Eurozone prone to uncertainty instability and crisis, a Eurozone with a short deadline. We have been saying and proven right that no more monetary union can function without the central bank acting as such, that is, acting as a lender of last resort for member states and not only for member banks. We have been saying a proven right that Europe needs its own Glass-Steagall Act to separate commercial and investment marking activities and prevent such a dangerous merge of risks into one uncontrolled entirety. We have been saying, we have been saying a proven right that Europe needs a effective European legislation to tax offshore economic and entrepreneurial activities. We have been saying a proven right that the European political establishment saw the debt crisis as an opportunity to rewrite Europe's post-war political economy. It's for that reason that they reject our proposal for a European debt conference modeled on the London debt conference in 1953 to give a definite, a viable collective solution to our common debt problem. It's for that reason that European establishment, a voluntary host aid to Mrs. Merkel, insists to impose on the entire Eurozone South 
policies that have deteriorated the initial problem. We have been saying and proven right that Europe needs a new deal to fight unemployment and to finance its future. We have been saying and proven right that if Europe is to survive, it needs redistribution and solidarity. Those are the foundations of the totally new Europe that we are fighting for. The Europe of people in the place of the current Europe, a Europe of a Europe that redistributes income to the rich and fair to the poor. Day by day, the so-called memoranda are proven to be detailed guides to poverty and economic control by the lenders. In my country, in Greece, the memorandum has caused a humanitarian crisis unprecedented in the post-war years. It is a stain to European civilization that two million Greeks cannot cover their basic needs, such as meal with meat and adequate heating. It is a stain to European civilization that a little girl died recently in Thessaloniki because her family couldn't afford electricity and were using a bra brazier for heating. It is an everyday picture in Athens and main cities of Greece well-dressed men and women looking for food in the garbage cans. Comrades and friends, a monetary union which divides its member states, divides the societies of its member states, increases unemployment, poverty and social polarization would either be reconstructed or collapsed. And reconstruction means change. And change for Europe is now more than a mature demand. It is an existential question. The process of change, and this is that I'm very happy to ensure you, the process of change has already started in my country, in Greece. Syriza is only a step away from coming to power. In 2014, as everybody knows, is an election year and change will come. The Syriza government will inspire change in Europe. We count on each and every one of you. We count on the solidarity of the peoples of Europe in our first difficult steps of our government. This is why we need the left to grow stronger and become a decisive force for the future of Europe. Because with the Syriza government, Greece will abandon austerity and put on the table a viable plan for Greek economy, but, but most of all, a viable plan for Europe as a whole. With the active solidarity of a broad European anti-austerity movement, we shall win that fight. Because for the European left, to grow and influence in a decisive way the everyday lives of ordinary people 
it needs the broadest possible social and political alliances. Dear comrades and friends, I heard yesterday Pierre's warm words and today the warm words of other comrades about my candidacy for the presidency of the European Commission. And I want to thank from my heart Pierre and all of you. Your warm, your warm words show that for you, this is not a mandate only for a candidacy, but a mandate for hope and change in Europe. <clears throat> it's a roll call for democracy in which every generation deserves to participate, which every generation is entitled to live. The European election next May provides a historic opportunity for the peoples of Europe to make change possible, to reject those who are responsible for the crisis, who are recycling a world crisis in Europe, and against common logic insist that a recipe that failed, that has failed, is a recipe to be continued. And allow me to repeat, the European left is the only one alternative to the barbarian neoliberalism, the only one alternative against the extreme right increasing. So, comrades and, and friends, I think that we have to believe that the time of left has come. This is our time. When the, when the will of history turns back, it is the left's moment to move Europe forward, to change Europe. And I'm sure we'll do it. Thank you very much. Gracias al cámara Alexis Chipra. Y vamos a continuar con la intervención del camarada compañero representante europeo de la sección internacional del Comité Central del Partido.